Tens of thousands of Bali travellers have been left stranded, with flights in and out of the holiday island grounded due to volcanic ash. Denpasar Airport has been closed as the threat from Mount Agung was raised to the highest level. Getting ready to check in, but nowhere to go. Denpasar Airport shut down, flights to and from Bali cancelled. It's really kind of inconvenient, but it's not much you can do. It's a natural disaster. For newlyweds Chelsea and Andrew Sutton, their honeymoon was over before it even began. I think we expected problems, but still it's not nice to have them. It's not a nice way to start a marriage. <laughs> 445 flights cancelled, 59,000 passengers left in limbo. We weren't notified by Jetstar in advance of us getting here, so we're very disappointed about that. I would have expected the airline to have had some idea as to when flights were going to be cancelled. Mount Agung looks spectacular, but it's dangerous. The alert level now at its highest. Indonesian authorities say the potential for a larger eruption is imminent. Ash is affecting the airspace surrounding the airport. And a slurry of muddy ash is covering the ground in low-lying villages. Volcanic ash is really a big hazard for jet aircraft. When it gets into the engines, it actually turns into glass and you could lose one engine, you could lose two, you could lose all the engines. Most insurers stopped offering full cover at the end of September when an eruption was considered a sure bet. Our advice is to always purchase your travel insurance as soon as you pay for or book pay deposit on any travel. This morning, some finding out the hard way, they're now out of pocket. No flights for four days and uh, we've just been told that our uh, insurance is not covered. Tash Ross is desperate to get home to her kids in Dunkraig. She was only meant to be away for four days. I just miss them. We, we only booked a few nights away because that we wouldn't really stay away from them for that long. Um, they're only two and four. They're staying with my mum. So, yeah, I just want to get home to the kids. She's among the many forced to pay for extended accommodation. 100 buses have been put on to transfer passengers to bus stations so they can try their luck at flying out of Lombok or Java. The experts now trying to forecast what's next. It might go quiet again tomorrow, but for now we're, uh, we think that at least the next 24 hours there'll be continuous ash. And Scott Cunningham, what's the latest from the airlines? Emmy, Devisar Airport will remain closed until at least 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. That is the best case scenario. You know, late this evening, Jetstar told us that it will have flights cancelled until 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. They've told us, though, that they are allowing passengers booked on flights to Bali over the coming weeks to change their destination to Singapore. AirAsia is offering a credit uh, for those that had booked or to reschedule their booking. Now, as for those stranded in Bali, though, the best they can do is really keep up to date on the airline's websites and make sure that their contact details are correct. Now, the airlines have also said that extra planes will be put on when they are cleared to fly. Tim. Thanks, Scott.